I don't have many friends. Even among the few friends that I do have, I don't message them often, I don't see them often. I think I see each friend only a few times a year. I will reach out to them, especially friends in the same city, but oftentimes they'll say that they're busy that week so they can't meet up that week and I have to reach out again and again and meet up with them eventually. Ideally, I have friends that I like who reach out to me to meet up, but I started following the advice, be the friend that you want to have. So I started reaching out to friends whenever I wanted to meet up with them and even if it took multiple times to reach out to meet up, it was totally worth it. I even had a friend tell me after we had a nice chat together, he said, Paul, I appreciate you reaching out to me. I'm terrible with reaching out to friends, but whenever you reach out and we meet up, we have a good time. Thanks for reaching out. And I was thinking, yeah, it's totally worth it. Even if I'm always the one being proactive in the friendship and reaching out to him first and asking to meet up, I never regret it. So it's totally worth reaching out first instead of just, oh, why doesn't anyone reach out to me? I have no friends. Be the friend that you want to have and reach out to them first. I'm sure a lot of them will appreciate it. But in addition to that, I recently got a tip and a newsletter by Chris Williamson who said, whenever you think about a friend, text them immediately. Say, hey, so-and-so was thinking about you. Hope you're doing well. Very simple. Thinking about you. Hope you're doing well. And I thought, yeah, that's such a great tip. I mean, you send that and you feel better, they feel better. So I thought, I'm gonna try this. So yesterday I sent out to four friends that I haven't seen in a while. And I said, hey, so-and-so, I was thinking about you. Hope you're doing well. And two of them replied, two of them didn't. The ones that replied said, uh, hey, uh, I'm doing well. Uh, how are you doing? And I shared a bit of my life. I said, I reached a thousand subscribers on YouTube recently. So that was a big milestone for me. And a couple messages back and forth. So it was a very small interaction, but I'm glad I reached out. But even the ones that didn't reply, the two that didn't reply, I'm glad I reached out because the messages that I sent are not going into the void. They saw that. And how could you not feel something good when you see someone says, hey, I was thinking about you. Hope you're doing well. Probably their reaction was, oh, I don't wanna reply right now, but that's a nice sentiment and they swipe it away. And these are friends that I have been friends for years, decades, and not contacting each other that much anymore. Maybe they're living outside in a different city, but I'm still glad that I sent to those, even to those who didn't reply. Communication like that is not falling into the void. And one example I'll give is when you're playing a team game, like I used to play Overwatch, as soon as the match starts, I would start talking to the team and saying, hey, let's go left together. And sometimes people would reply back and say, all right, let's try that. But oftentimes people wouldn't say anything and it would feel like I'm just talking into the void, right? But that wasn't the case. More often than not, when I say something, they actually listened and were being cooperative with what I initially suggested. So they may not be saying anything back, but what you're communicating and saying to them is not falling on deaf ears. Even if it seems like one-sided communication, the communication makes a difference. And I think it's the same thing in this case. Even if they don't reply back to you, when you say to them, hey, I, I was thinking of you, I hope you're doing well, that's positive communication that they're intaking even if they don't reply to it. Obviously, it is nicer when they reply and you have a little bit of back and forth and maybe if you wanna both meet up with each other then you suggest it at that point. But I still think it's totally worth sending to those if you've had some good friendship in the past and it's kind of fizzled out, totally worth just reaching out to them and saying, I was thinking of you, I hope you're doing well. Do it the next time a friend just pops up into your mind randomly. Your phone's right next to you anyway. Just shoot them a message immediately. Today, I just came back from a brunch. I met a couple new people. And before I went to the brunch, I was thinking, ah, oh, I don't really want to go. Why did I say I'm going to this thing? I don't even know if I'm going to enjoy my time. But oftentimes, I find that when I go to these socials, like meeting new people, I think... Yeah, that was totally worth it. I'm glad that I pushed myself uh, to be more social and meet new people and potentially make some new friends. Because I don't have many friends over the last year or two, there are times when I've been going to meetup groups or just trying to find people on the internet to meet up with. And that's the great thing about the internet, right? It's isolating so many of us because we're just staring at our screens all the time. But at the same time, it's, it's such a great tool to try and find people who you might have commonalities with and meet up with them in person. So I had a good time talking to 
the brunch people today, and I think one or one or two of them might lead to further friendships. We'll see. I had a good time, so I think I'll keep in touch with them and meet up with them again next time. That was fun. We're social creatures, man. Let's not just be so isolated. Let's put in an effort to meet and talk to more people, or even just keep meeting with the people that we know, friends that we have already. I'll see you in two days. One percent better every day, baby. <laughs> Mochi got a bath. <laughs> she smells like shampoo now. <laughs> She's still wet. <laughs> she did not like her bath. Oh, you got up too.